Hi, I'm Andrew from Cruise Master and welcome to Cruise Master Class. Today we're going to be talking about all things airbags. And to help me out with that, I've got the experts, Ben and Jacob from Airbag Man to help me out. How you doing guys? How you going Andrew? Hey. Thanks for having us man. Yeah, no problem. So um, we've had a pretty long relationship with these guys. Uh, we did a leaf independent first, then we got into air, and then we did a coil after that. So 15 years, I think it was. Yeah, something like we that. We were eh? probably at school, he was probably in a diaper, and our dads <laughs> were um, yes. doing the deals back then. So yep, yep. tell us about Airbag Man and where you guys came from. Yeah, so our father, Richard Clamp, was um, been in the industry since 1970, working on luxury coaches and heavy trucks and all sorts of things like that. Um, with the air suspension and um, yeah, decided to move over to Australia. He did all that mm -hmm. in the UK, obviously. Yep. Um, and yeah, moved over to Australia, um, established Airbag Man in 1995. Um, we've been dealing with all sorts of applications yep. till now, eh? like heavy truck and bus, trailers, four wheel drives, emergency vehicles. Agricultural, industrial. Yeah. Yep. Disability applications, armored, yep. all sorts of things. And Special even, effects. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. we did, um, back in the day, we did the Firestone airbags there in, I uh, don't know if you remember the, the military movie, The Thin Red Line, back yeah. in the day. Yeah, the cannons actually had the airbags on those and oh, cool. to get that recoil effect happening there, so that was pretty cool. And then yeah. recently, the Thor movie, they yeah. wouldn't tell us what it was though, so. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, have to watch out some for sort it. of platform <laughs> thing, yeah, that's it. Yeah. And that was pretty cool. But yeah, been doing all sorts of things, so mm. yeah, it's awesome. Cool. So we use a few different types here at Cruise Master. So we've got a, a double convolute bag that um, we have in XT Air. We're going to do a couple of different sizes of that. We've got the, the big Bertha that we've got on ATX Air. <laughs> That's a yep. rolling sleeve. And then we've got a smaller rolling sleeve that we use on the X Cruise suspension. Yep. And recently, as we've been getting into the vehicle mod side of things, we're now using more helper springs as well. So um, tell us about the different types and you know, what to look for in them. Yep. So all we've got is our leaf helper, coil helper. Uh, we've got standard and high pressure option with our high pressure sleeves um, and also full coil replacement. Um, depending yeah. on the application <coughs> and load and stuff will yeah, vary what you go for. So. Yeah, so a massive range of airbags to suit all, all sorts of applications. So um, option one, when we're designing, manufacturing a kit for a particular vehicle, whatever it may be, uh, we utilize the Firestone airbag um, for applications where we can't use a Firestone airbag, we use our own um, developed airbag here. Um, those ones like in your lifted Land Cruiser, you've yeah. got those in there. So that's a, um, a good option for that as opposed to the Firestone, but um, predominantly Firestone because we have had a, had a long-standing relationship with those guys. So um, yeah, they're awesome to deal with and they support us, we support them. So yeah, it's yeah. good. So I think um, <coughs> our experience with you guys is we've always had good quality airbags. That's you know, it. Why airbag man? There's a couple yeah. of guys out there. Yeah. We stay with you guys. Why is the That's I mean, it. Why airbag man? Um, I guess it's like we've got a, been in the game for a number of years, 20 plus years, um, and experience well well over that, haven't we? Like mm. with, I mean, we've got um, guys in our company that have been in airbag man since like, for like 17 years, 19 years. So yeah, we've got, got a lot of experience in that. Um, that side of things and and yeah just the work we put into developing our kits um, like the brackets we design all the brackets to bolt into a vehicle um, they're all vehicle specific all the spaces we design those yeah. so yeah a lot, lot of effort goes into the kits that we produce for the market so yeah mm. sounds that's like good. you're the top of the game so <laughs> that's, that's exactly we like what to we think want. so yeah that's it <laughs> So yeah. uh, maintenance wise, and the guys are going around the country, is there any maintenance that needs to be done with the airbags or the air systems? Typically not. Um, what we really look at is the operation, making sure you're sticking to say the right airbag heights, not going over maximum pressures, um, stuff like that. Um, but other than that, there's no real maintenance. I suppose you don't have to clean them or yeah. um, anything like that. So. I guess it's like with anything, if you go out go out to, I don't know, the beach, go out bush mm. in the mud, whatever it is, um, you're gonna clean the underside of your car anyway yeah, and just so make sure it's all clean. So you just do that, do, like inflation valves, if there's dirt in the inflation points where you inflate the airbags, um, then just clean those out. It's just general sort of maintenance really. Mm. Um, but yeah, they're, they're pretty robust 
bits of um, bits of gear. So yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, talking about um, being robust, we've done a lot of testing with them. Yeah, you no, have, never yeah. had a never had a puncture, but it is a concern people have. Yep. Um, how durable are they, and should people carry a spare in the? Yep. You know, in their caravan or car. Yeah, so get a few close-ups of these, but you can see, like, with the all this whole black range here, um, they're all using the same sort of material. So it's a, a four-layered material. You've got rubber on one side, and then you've got two layers of fabric meshed together there, and then you've got another layer of rubber. And what that, that gives it, like, structure and stability in the, the rubber itself, and it also allows the airbag to extend right out come back down and um, maintain the shape of the airbag. So yeah, good, good robust uh, bit of gear there. Um, another thing, the top and bottom plates, they're galvanized steel. Yep. So um, really good there, rust protection wise. Um, so that's a good thing with those. They've also got um, the steel wire going through the top and the bottom of the airbag, as well as the, um, the middle. So that's creating structure to the airbag as well and allowing the top and bottom steel crimp plates to crimp nicely onto the rubber and just create a, a good airtight seal. So they with they're carrying good. a spare, we typically don't recommend it. Um, we've had customers come back and the airbags perished before they've even been able to use it. Wow. So yeah, it's, yeah. Um, they're pretty good. Show, shows they're stuff. tough. How long could someone expect to have life-wise out of a, an airbag? Yeah, so um, when you check our website, we've got heaps and heaps of testimonials there um, of people up to 20 years. I think wow. dad had a bloody, um, what was it? It was a, his first ever vehicle was a Holden Rodeo and he developed a kit to suit that vehicle and um, he went and showcased it all around Australia just to build the customer base and all that sort of thing. And um, yeah, he sold it, I think five years later to a, one of his customers who just loved yeah. the vehicle and the, the kit that was on it. And um, that customer actually, I think his name was Barry, he came back like, I think it was a couple yeah, of years ago years or something, ago, yeah. and, and he's had that kit on there ever since. Wow. And um, he said, oh, I've got a, got a slow leak there. And um, all it was, was just a little bit of airline he had to replace to <laughs> get it going again. It so wasn't that, even the airbags. Yeah, and that was using this, this style of airbag here. So yeah. one of those big babies. So, you, so yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, so you can be rest assured that they, they are gonna last a long time. Yeah, yep. yeah, so, big time. Even these ones here, like, people seven to 15 years, you get uh, a yeah. different material um, again. So it's a heavy duty polyurethane material. Um, and the good thing about these, because they're suited to the coil spring, um, they actually mold nicely with the, with the coil in like on a month's time, they'll, they'll take shape of the coil and, and flex nicely with that. So that's another good, good material there. And a, a big part of these, all our range here, we offer a lifetime uh, manufacturer's warranty on these. Wow. Fires don't give that. And yeah. uh, we also give that on our, our developed bag there as well. So yeah, it's good. Yeah, mm. good, good quality product. So mm. um, in the worst case, something was to happen, maybe you snag an airline, and I, don't, I don't know, if it doesn't tend to happen. Yeah. Um, we have a national service network around the country of 30 odd repairers. Imagine you yep. guys have got a bit of a yeah. support base. Got a, yeah, including you guys, got a big um, airbag man specialist network around the country. We did distribute our products worldwide as well, so we yeah, got a lot hold stock. Yeah, a lot hold stock in the different different areas. So yeah. you're probably looking like if you're out bush, you're probably looking at a day or two for the the bags to get to you. If you if you do happen Worst to case, yeah, yeah come across like a punctured airbag or something like that, but that's pretty rare. So yeah, it's um it's good good to have all the support. Yeah, so, yeah. No, it, it's good. So. Um, on our website, if you do need spares, um, you can buy spare airbags. We've, we've even got an emergency repair kit as well that you guys yep. make up for us. That's it. good to have, yeah. A bit of airline yep. and some fittings, and in case there's something happens with your control system, mm. you can plug it in and it's, yeah. it's all fixed. So, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, well, that's um, what more can you say about airbags? I think we've covered yeah. just about everything. <laughs> um, so we've got more episodes coming out of Cruise Masterclass. You can catch up with us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at Cruise Master Country is a tag. You guys have got a pretty healthy social <laughs> social media network. Yeah, yeah it's good. Um, yeah, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, we've got it all. So yeah, make right. sure you tune in and I'm sure, you, sure you'll see some more videos with you know yourself and, and just what we get up to really, don't we? Yeah, yeah it's good. Cool. 
Well, thanks for coming in and um, yep. letting us know more about airbags. Pleasure. Great, thank um, you. Cheers. Okay, Andrew, so before we wrap this up, yep. we've got a little surprise for you. Now, it's called the High Pressure Sleeve Fitment Challenge. Benny Boy's a bit of a gun. Yeah. At Should fitting these high pressure you. sleeves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that good, eh? <laughs> I'm, I'm not too bad. I don't know about you. Yeah. But, um, so, without further ado. Oh, no. Here's the bags. Here's the sleeves. Thank you, I think. Now we're going to see who can do this the quickest. In three, two, one, go. I feel like I've stuffed it up already. I'm failing. <laughs> How are you going, Andrew? You getting there? <laughs> Not well. Um, uh, it was about 10 seconds for the winner. It's because he does it every day of the week. Is that cricket? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is crickets. <laughs> go, Andrew. Go, son. I'm glad this isn't Yeah, fun. baby. We're not trying to make money out of this. Are we? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> awesome. Wow, that was oh. bad. <laughs> no, that was that was respect though. Like you did well. It was today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the key, the just on touching on that, the key with putting the high pressure sleeves on, Benny, you know how to do it, like a little legend. So the way I do it, you compress it. Yeah. And twist it. Ah. And then you have a corner, and you can just whack her in there, eh? Beauty. Man, you should have told me that before we did that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome.